we were just talking about how on social media, like our Hampton strip, it looks so picture perfect. Ooh, we went to the fashion show. Ooh, we were at Surf Lodge. I wish I could live like this, so I don't see this <laughs> show. I'm a freelance stylist living in New York City, and I'm also an influencer, so I get to go to influencer events. Blah, 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 Netflix. I've done a lot of cool, fun things, so I want to take you guys on the ride with me. Let's get ready for the Steve Madden video. My video is gonna be filmed like this, but look at the rest of my room, bro. Hoarding buried alive. They actually delivered these to me. I don't know what I'm more excited about. The shoes or this bag. Having a tote bag in New York is a rite of passage. You virtually can't do anything if you don't have one of these. I figured out what my favorite thing about living in Midtown is, but everyone shits on me for living here because it's actually insane. The highlight of every day is listening to Pony play. Jump on it, ride it. Six times a day, especially in the morning. It's a great way to wake up. I'm excited, but I'm kind of nervous too because I don't know anybody. I've never worn flip-flops in the city before. I feel like I'm sinning. About to go to the Steve Madden store. Apparently, Steve Madden's gonna be there. Crazy, right? such a great time. I didn't think I was gonna meet Steve Madden. That's sick. Tomorrow, I'm going right back to the Hamptons and I'm going to the Hamptons Fashion Week. No question, I gotta wear these. Hey guys, can I get community guideline banned for this? In New York, there's nothing you can do. We're on the bus. We both have no idea what to expect and apparently this goes from 12 we to 9. Basically, Hampton's Fashion Week was funny. It was kind of a meme. We were there for like maybe an hour, just eating free food, getting free drinks, and we did not go to a single fashion show because it just didn't happen. It's really cute. Is he allowed to be here? This is the point in the video where I just need to step in. Things start to get lost in translation. When I start to consume alcohol, I literally tell myself that I'm Quinton Tarantino. In my mind, it doesn't matter if it's three-bit potato Mario quality, it's a cinematic masterpiece. So I thought that this made sense completely, and then I edited it together and I was like, wow. We were all just drunk. Where's the Mad Hatter? Where's the Sugar Daddies? Allison, oh, period. I'm still gonna give myself entertainment points because this gets chaotic. We're going to our friend's 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 house. Not sketchy at all. We actually haven't seen a single fashion show. Probably going to a bar, but we're not gonna be dumb. Are we not going to? Oh, good. Like, silly? <laughs> the only thing that we can say. Nicki Minaj's mom has our phone numbers for some reason. <laughs> um, I want fabulous. We went to this random beach club. It was really fun. There was live music. It was on the water. It was super cute. And I filmed it not in landscape mode like an idiot. Basically, we booked a jitney, like so. a bus, back to Manhattan at 4 a.m. because we want to be back by 6 because this is so fun. Nico works for Gossip Girl on HBO and he had to be on set at 8 a.m. So we scheduled a 4 a.m. jitney bus back to the city. Oh, oh like literally other country. I look so busted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. so like, I wanna do this every night. Just, I love you. We were just talking about how on social media, like our Hampton strip, it looks so picture perfect. Ooh, we went to the fashion show. Ooh, we were at Surf Lodge. Oh, like a tiny dog. I wish I could live like this. I don't see this. <laughs> Show. My friend, <laughs> this is her bed. <laughs> Six feet underground, but no one hears your scream. It's currently 3.45, waiting for our Uber to go back to the city because Nico has work in the morning and I have to go see the apartment. We are realizing we are the only ones that are going to take the bus, so we actually pay 80 bucks and we're renting the whole bus. It's ours, baby. And she won't let us in. Lady literally would not let us in this bus and we were the only people waiting. She was like 30 more minutes and I was like <laughs> what the f did you do? <laughs> Welcome to my house. Yeah I was doing the walk of shame in cowboy boots and baby bloomers and holding a skirt. But honestly the vibes at 5 a.m in New York City 
are immaculate.